What's good? What's happening? Hope everybody doing well. This beautiful Friday afternoon. I'm here in California. Shelter in place. Situations at the house. But um, I'm going to try to have a little fun. Enjoy the downtime. Gather around the IG Live. Shout out to the NBA for letting me take over the account for a little bit. Bring some of my guys on, talk a little bit about a little bit about what they're doing during the quarantine, during the shelter in place, precautions they're taking, and then we're gonna have a little fun. I'm gonna try to do a little trivia game with uh, some of my special guests and see how well they know the history of the NBA. Uh, I cheated because I already got the questions and the answers, uh, but we're gonna put them to the test. Got four tiers to figure out exactly. Uh, how well they know the NBA. We just gotta have fun, man. We try to look at some of the comments, the questions. Uh, you know, engage, have a good time. I got this hat on because I can't get a cut during the uh, during the shelter in place. But hey, that is the least of anybody's worries right now. I uh, hope all the fans are doing well. Hopefully, you are taking you know this situation seriously. Hopefully, uh, you and your family and. Uh, all your families, you know, no matter where you're at, are are safe, healthy. Um, yeah, we all in this together. You know, it's unprecedented times for everybody. So, I uh, just want to thank everybody for for being fans of the league, fans of basketball. We're gonna be back soon, hopefully uh, sooner than later. Um, back on the court doing what we love to do best. But for now. Everybody talking about my hairline. I'll get off my hairline, man. That's why I got this hat on. I already told y'all. There's no rules, no judgment during times like these. All right? So get off my back. But uh, we got some guests that I want to log in and uh, and bring on. And then we'll have some fun in between. But this is, this is a game show. This is a game show. This is uh, trivia. I have my guys at the league send me some questions to, uh, to ask some of my guys uh, that I want to bring on. Um, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. So I'm gonna try to log on and get, uh, I need, uh, we're keeping it in the family. So I got my, my brother and my brother-in-law ready to go. So I need them to, uh, to send me a quick comment right quick so I can, you know, IG or put you in the IG live so we can, we can talk right quick. So if, if Dame or Seth, I know y'all watching, if y'all say something at the bottom so I can patch y'all in we can get this thing started Damian Lee Seth Curry where y'all at I need one of y'all I know y'all in here what up DeJounte appreciate you chiming in up oh, there he is geek geek all right here we go let's get testing right now Oh, there he is. You. Yep. Keeping it in the fam. What's good, bro? It's good, Slim. It's kind of weird because you like, not right down the street, you're like 25 minutes away, but I ain't seen you in like two and a half weeks. <laughs> I, I don't, I mean, I guess FaceTime, but besides, besides that. <laughs> it is a whole nother ball game. How y'all doing over there at the crib? Y'all doing all right? Solid. Got... What Hi, up, Floss? Bella. How you doing? How you doing? I'm chilling. Gotta give gotta give the people an update on what uh on what life is like since since uh, we've been out of basketball. It's a quick uh, little little catch up with Dame Lee. Uh, let's see, we're working out, you know, in home in home workouts, uh, free weights, you know, some yoga. Started biking, but uh, I, I think I bought a kid's bike, so the bike too small for me. <laughs> the struggle is real. Yeah, probably going to return that uh, soon. But, yeah, man, just chilling, walking the dogs, and trying to do some nice little workouts. All right, all right. Well, I'm going to try to bring some fun to you. So we're going to play uh, NBA live trivia, see how well you know the history of the game that you have uh, been passed the torch to. All right, so we're going to start off. they got four levels. they got rookie level, all-star, uh, was the championship and then Hall of Fame. All right, you get different points based on each question. All right, so obviously with the rookies, it's gonna be a pretty easy question, but it's gonna throw it at you and let's get it going. You got you got stiff competition. 
uh, with some of the guys coming after you. So you got to set the bar pretty high. You ready? Bet, bet, All right. For rookie question, level one is worth one point. This player led the NBA in scoring last season. Who is that player? Uh, who is James Harden? Who is James Harden? Is that that is correct, ladies and gentlemen? He's off to a great start. James Harden, thirty-six point one. Good gracious, points per game last year. All right, moving on. You have uh, elevated in your career, and you are now at All Star level. Uh, this is worth two points. Damian Lee, uh, what number did Scottie Pippen wear for the Chicago Bulls? Scottie Pippen, um, I believe he wore. 33. Uh, is that correct? In the con That is correct. Okay, okay. That is correct. Stop. He is on fire. Oh, he is getting about to be on fire. No, we are no. moving up to. Wait, the... so since since I'm an all star, does this mean I get like bonuses in my contract? Absolutely, man? yeah. Incentives and all that. Your your shoe company is, you know, UA is really, really, they're excited, but they're mad they got to pay you. I need all that. <laughs> you need all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all right. right. Moving on to the championship level. This is worth three whole points right now. Are you ready for this question? Let's get it. Who is the – this, this might not be too hard. It should be hard. Who is the NBA's all-time regular season leading scorer? Regular season. I, f I feel like it would be Kareem because he's the all-time leading scorer. Leave, leave the score. Yeah, it might have worded the question interesting to make you think, but what's your final answer? I'm gonna go with I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Cap. He's gonna go with Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Is that correct? Correct. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I got sound effects and everything. All right, that's three yeah. points for Dame Lee. Last but certainly not least, the Hall of Fame level. Are you ready, sir? This is worth five points. Five points. Which coach has the most career wins? All time. Uh, I'm going to say Pop. Greg Popovich. No, 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 no. Yeah, actually, yeah. He's going to go with Greg Popovich, final answer? Yeah. The most career wins in the NBA coaching yeah. history books is actually Don Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong, but it's a solid effort for six points. Six points. Damian Lee has set the bar uh, pretty high, so... Thank you for joining in to the game show today. I will circle back. I didn't even tell anybody what you're playing for, but oh, yeah, at yeah, the end yeah. of the day, I'll come back and we'll let the winner know. I'm going to just have to make it up on the fly. All right. Appreciate all it. All love. Hey, enjoy the rest of the time, uh, all these body weight workouts we got going on. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back soon. Yes, you want to say anything hey. to the people before you're out of here? Y'all be safe. Uh, yeah, be safe out there. Still practice social distancing. Wash your hands. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back soon enough. So Absolutely. Be safe. Absolutely. Uh, exit stage left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, six points. I'll take that. Seth Curry, I need you. I need you to hit me in the comments right quick, Seth. Um, six points for Damian Lee. I don't know. That, that second level, of the was it the All-Star round? That question wasn't that hard. But he did all right, though. He did all right. Where is S. Dot Curry when you need him? Down in Dallas, Texas. I'll wait for him to hit in the comments. Anybody else got any questions? I'll try to answer them in between. You know these these very uh, inspirational and challenging <laughs> uh, questions we got going on, but. Like they, like D. Lee said, every day is kind of different. Trying to figure out how to stay in shape. Who knows when we be? Oh, well, since Bay, um, we're gonna go. <clears throat> we're gonna go. We're gonna go with our second. Our sorry, our third guest. We're gonna jump Seth until he shows up. But we had a new special guest. Out of <laughs> there he is, my guy. Sir What's Kent up, bro? Baysmore. 
the Sacramento Kings. How you doing, sir? I am doing just fine, man. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for joining my game show today. I appreciate you uh, you joining in for the fun. Uh, Damian Lee has set the bar pretty high uh, at okay. six points, but uh, we're gonna throw some questions at you. You got anything? You know what? What's what, what's been your kind of your daily routine since you've been? Uh, uh, you know, in the shelter in place and practicing social distancing, so we can all flatten the curve. What you, uh, what you been up to? Uh, just you know, sharpening my uh, dad skills. Absolutely. Uh, working on this husbandry, I like to call it. Uh, just trying to, you know, um, you know, use this time, you know, wisely. I don't remember the last time in my lifetime that I've had a chance to have a break like this. So, uh, you know, just maximizing, you know, adapting to the circumstance. Absolutely. I make the most of the situation. As you said, we don't know if we ever get this opportunity to reconnect, even though it might right. not be physically with everybody, but just having time where you don't have any distractions. Everybody right. wants basketball back. It's going to happen. But, uh, you know, for now, everybody take right. this seriously. Exactly. And do the opposite of what we're doing with this trivia game. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, all right, man. Kent Bazemore, he is our next guest on the trivia game. Somebody said we need basketball back so bad because I'm on here doing trivia, but I'm having fun, so let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we got four levels. Each one's worth different points. I'm going to throw some questions at you. You got to – I'm going to put a little 15-second time limit on it. Oh, wow. All right, okay. here we go. Under the gun. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Rookie level is worth one point. What NBA team drafted Carmelo Anthony in 2003? Uh, Denver Nuggets. That is correct. All right, easy one. That was a little softball live, uh, live question. We're moving on to the All Star round. This is worth. Okay. This is worth two points. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All righty, here we go. Which NBA player <laughs> holds the record for the most points scored in a game? All time. All time. Will Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain, hundred points. That 100 is. Point. Correct. I need to get my sound effects back. I think people will really enjoy that. Let me get that back. Uh, <laughs> all right. K KB's off to a great start. He's got three points. We're moving on to the championship round. This is uh, this is worth three points here. All right. All right. You ready? Yep. Oh, this is this might be a little difficult. Maybe. All we see is the rings. What number did Bill Russell wear with the Boston Celtics? Six. <laughs> yes, that sir. is correct. All right, six. He wore six, and he's got what? Eleven rings. Eleven rings. Good I was God. About to say eleven. Yeah, that should have been a question. Some people might have said ten, one for every finger, but he got an extra one. All right, <laughs> last but certainly not least, we are at the Hall of Fame level. Uh, I'm gonna pick a good question for you right here. All right, this is uh, current events. Which Sorry, who are the only two players in the NBA history to have recorded a triple-double against every single franchise? Only two players in NBA history. That have recorded a triple-double against every single franchise. Um, I'm going to say Oscar Robertson. Okay. Because he, he has a lot of them. And then... Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook and Oscar Robertson. Can I see it in the – oh, Sports Center's on it right now. No. Nope. Uh, it Ooh. is LeBron James and uh, Russell Res Westbrook. I almost said his name wrong. Russell Westbrook uh, and LeBron James. I am sorry, sir, but uh, that was, Hall I mean, of Fame. That was a tough one. That was a tough I'll one. I'll take that. I'll take, I'll it's take interesting because when I mean, Russell was going out the triple-double situation, it was all Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Yeah, right? so, exactly. Like, I could see where your head was at there. But Dang, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Brian, Brian, you're on that. So another six point round um, for Kent we got no no Not yet, not yet. We might have to come back to it if uh right. if uh, everybody's still getting six. Nobody's answered the Hall of Fame question right, but I appreciate you, man. Well, uh, you know what coming I'll be. on. Chance uh, you know, challenging your brain, your basketball memory. Yes, sir. Uh I'll see you back on the uh, simulator at some point. My guy, you know where I'm about to head right now. <laughs> yes, sir. All, All right, love. my guy. All yes, right. sir. All right. All right. That was a trick question, I think, because Oscar and, and Russ were the, the triple-double kings with LeBron James. 
a triple double against every single NBA team. Uh, I think I only got like six, nine, something like that. Ugh. All right. Uh, where is did anybody see S dot in the S dot Curry in the comments? I ain't seen him yet. If not, we're going to put up uh, who we got over here. Oh, the real Mo Bamba. Where you at, Mo Bamba? I need Mo Bamba, S dot Curry. Yeah, look at Curry, man. Just trying to do great things in the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to say it. All right. Where is uh where is Mr. Mo Bamba? Uh oh. Oh, Omar wanna join? Yep, there he is right there. All right, let's see. I'm gonna get my, my get my camera straight, but everything else will be straight. All right, here we go. We got our next contestant. Steph, what up? There he is. What up, Mo? Not much. How are you, man? I'm doing great, man. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm just finishing up a workout, actually. Oh, look at you. Too long ago. Yeah, what, yeah, get a, get, a, get a people a glimpse. I know we all trying to stay ready. We don't know how long oh, we're going to be cousin, in, this, uh, in this situation. My cousin and my little brother still working out. So, yeah. It's my cousin. <laughs> my brother. What's up, fellas? <laughs> <It's a head. laughs> One of them been working out a lot. All right, bet. All right, cool. So, uh, what's uh, what's been the biggest adjustment, man, in terms of uh, you know this new situation that we found ourselves in? I think the biggest adjustment, honestly, is is not being able to get to like the facilities, to be honest. Um, but you know, you gotta you gotta do you gotta do what you gotta do. So absolutely, but they, they dropped off about half the weight room here. So. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't playing with me. They and you ain't got no excuses. No room. excuses. They gave you everything you need. Exactly. So I'm able to do All what right. I gotta do. Yeah. Well, appreciate you uh you uh you coming on. And we got two guys, Kent Bazemore, Damian Lee who went before you. They both got six points in this trivia. All right. So uh Wait, hold on. Some... Give a quick shout out to remember who this dude is. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all don't know, he has yes, one of the best jokes in the world. Mo Bamba has one of the best jokes in the world that he oh, can't man. tell on this uh, on this here live stream. But yeah, I can't do if you happen to run into him, just hey, hey Mo, let me get that story from uh from last summer that you was telling Steph and then he'll let you know exactly what's uh, going on. It'll be worth your time for sure. I don't think I could tell that on a live stream <laughs> <laughs> for a lot of different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mo Bamba is here. He's on the trivia. Oh, I'm going to throw some questions at you. We got four questions. Each one's got different point numbers, and uh, right. we'll see if you can beat six. You ready? All right, here we go. All right, rookie level, one point. Easy mm -hmm. question. Which franchise has won the most NBA championships? Uh, the Lakers. The Los Angeles Lakers is his answer. Is he correct? That is Dang. wrong. I am so sorry on the rookie level. We, uh, you want a second guess? I'm going to get a second guess. I'm going to guess the Celtics. Okay, you got it right, but no points. Uh, no points. Well, what you mean? We're going <laughs> to keep it going. Hey, that won't hurt you, though, because if, if, if you get these next three, you're still, you're still in great shape. Great shape. Okay. They're, I think they're second. But all-star yeah. level. Second question, right. worth two points. You're a pretty tall guy, right? What are you, like 6'10"? Seven foot. Seven foot? I, the, Seven the, foot. The, new, the new measurements, I, I don't know. Everybody, I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, I uh, like 6'1". Yeah, easily. That's why I got this fro. Um, who is the shortest player in NBA history? Uh, I believe that is Muggsy Bowles. Muggsy Bowles, is that correct? <laughs> that is correct. He has two points on the on the board. I will actually give you a bonus point if you can tell me what Muggsy Bogues' real first name is. What's his real first name? You, I can't hear you. You got the mic covered? Oh, my bad, my there bad. Go, there you go, there you go. What's, what's Muggsy Bogues' real first name? And they better not be uh, Googling on the side. Nah, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I believe his real first name is Tyrone. That is correct. That is correct. I'm going to throw in a bonus point for you right there. That's, that's, that's good. All right. Appreciate that. Championship level three, the question for you, sir, is – ooh, sorry. This is a pretty tough one. 
Which team won the NBA's first championship in 1947? Dang, bro, where are you getting these questions? Yeah, that was, that was, that was straight off of the Hardwood right, Classic. That was this, a Hardwood Classic I think, question. I think, I know, I know the answer, and I think this is a trick answer because that organization moved or oh, changed names. So uh -huh. you're going to you're gonna have to say, if I, do, I, do I say the city or do I say the team? I'll accept any answer. This is like Jeopardy. If I'll accept any answer that's close, that's, that's on it. You can say. I'm going to let the people in the Bay Area feel nice about themselves. So I'm going to say the Warriors. The Warriors. Do you know the what time, is the city? Philadelphia. Okay. The Philadelphia Warriors. Is that correct? That is correct. <laughs> the Philadelphia now, Warriors. Me. Now, if you ask me who was on that team. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, trust me, bro. I've, somebody said the Flint Travis. I've, <laughs> I've seen – I walked past that picture for the last 11 years, and I couldn't tell you one person on that team. So, we all good. Uh, all right. Last but certainly not least, uh, the Hall of Fame question worth five points. If you get Wait, this, how many points uh, I got? You have six right now. Nobody, everybody's gotten six up until this point, but nobody's gotten the answer. Dang, that first question would have put me over the top. Absolutely. Uh, here you go. Who won the NBA's first ever NBA MVP award? Oh, shoot. I'm going to give you 15 seconds on this one because this is a tough one. Wait, can you ask that one more time, please? Yeah, you will. Hey, Siri. Uh, who won the NBA's first ever MVP award for the NBA? You got five. All right, let's just go with three. Somebody, Bill, Bill Russell. Bill Russell. Bill Russell is Bill Russell the uh, Bill Russell. wrong right or wrong answer? That is incorrect. Dang. That is incorrect. The answer is as everybody has said in the comments. Bob Pettit. Ah, oh, you, you, hey, you seen his? Uh, you seen his YouTube highlights? I have not. Fire. Been, All right hand. <laughs> All right hand. All right hand. Oh, man. You give a little shoulder bump, man. I think he shot a, a set shot. So, um, all right. So, total score, uh, well, six is the number right now. Right. We, uh, we have six points from Obama, so you're not out of it, but, you know, it's Things fine, aren't looking fine. good. I think I think somebody's gonna get one of these Hall of Fame questions right and uh, and figure it out. I, think, I appreciate I think you. Gonna, I think you're gonna cheat for your brother, but it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, my, it's my brother it's MIA right now. I'm trying to find him, so we're gonna get him. But I appreciate you coming on, man. Get back to you uh, to your workouts. All the best to you and the family. Y'all stay safe down there. Yeah. And we'll okay. see you soon, bro. I'll see you, bro. All right. All right. Six points for the three guys so far. Where's S. Dot Curry? I really need S. Dot Curry to show up. I'm about to, I'm about to hit him on the side. <laughs> Somebody said, "Oh, there he is. There he is. I see. I see you with the hand." All right. Let's see if Seth Curry can bring the heat on this here trivia competition. There he is. I've, there I've he been is. here, man. You let. Uh, Bay jumped me. Oh, my bad, bro. I saw the first name I saw. I miss, so, I miss D. Lee. I miss D. Lee, but I saw everybody else, so I've been here. All right. Well, D. Lee, Bays, Mo Bamba, all with six points on the on the trivia. Uh, but first and foremost, we everybody want to know what uh, what's been going on in the world of the Curry House down in Dallas during the uh, during the the suspension of the season. How you been? You know, filling your time. What you been up to? Uh, been working out. First of all, I got a little routine going now. I've been working out in the morning, getting up early still. I feel like everybody feel like they strength coaches watching. Uh, First thing they say is been working out. <laughs> I would have said the same thing. <laughs> you there? Are you still got me? All right. Yeah, yeah well, I got you. Go ahead. All right, yeah. Uh, still got my little routine going, playing with the daughter a little bit more. Um, been streaming on Twitch. Playing some video games, reading. That's right. Yeah, shout, out, shout out your Twitch. Your, shout yeah, out, uh, shout follow out your me on Twitch, Twitch man. Yeah, uh, twitch.tv uh, backslash s.curry. So it's pretty. It's the That's same easy. on all platforms. Same handle on all platforms, man. Go follow me. There we go. A little, little 2K, a little Call of Duty, a little, little bit yeah, of everything. A little Respect. bit of all that. He's nice, people. He's nice. So check him out. 
twitch.tv backslash s dot curry. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Well, tell my little niece I said hello. And after you do that, we're going to play a little trivia. Got four questions, four levels. See if you can take the lead. You ready? You ready? Yeah, keep breaking up. I got you. All right, here we go. So, first question, rookie level question. True or false? Oh, first true or false question. True or false? The Warriors. Oh, wait, I can't ask that. Mo Bamba just, I got to do another question. Hall of Famer Isaiah Thomas was born in which city? A, Los Angeles. B, Chicago. Uh, Chicago, Chicago, C, Chicago, C, Chicago, <laughs> Chicago. Come on. C, San Francisco. That was the uh, Chicago guard. That's easy one. One point, rookie level. All right, moving on. All right, I asked you about your uh, – all right, about Tyra uh, Muggsy Bowes question. Uh, all right, here we go. Another championship-type question for the All-Star worth two points. Which head coach has won the most championships? Ooh. This is not a multiple choice. You just have to say it. The most championships. Which head go coach? With, um, well, Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson. And how many does he have? Yes. Yes. He you're got, right. But he got nine. Ooh, you, you, you're shortening the extra two Kobe Kobe years. Oh, word. Yeah, he won two yeah, more. Than that's yeah, he did. He did. Kobe Powell. Lamar, yeah. Bynum. All right. Hey, we acceptable answer. This is just like Jeopardy. You got to touch just a piece of the name, whatever. So you got three points. Moving on to the championship level. This is worth three points. Wait, who's in the lead right now? How many I need? You need six. Uh, you get oh. this right, you're tied for the lead. So you got to get right. one of these two right to take the lead. I'm going to ask an on-brand question that I think uh, you may – you should know. Our pops, as you know, played for the Toronto Raptors, uh, 2000 to 2002. What year did the Toronto Raptors enter the NBA? And this is a multiple choice question. Is it A, 1993, B, 1999, or C, 1995? Mm. You got you to remember that. I think it's 1995. 1995 is he Mighty mouth. correct. Mighty Mouth Damon Stoudemire. Is he correct? He is correct. Oh, yeah. I'm a that basketball a, historian. Man. That is a big time answer for six points right there. All right. Down to the final question. Hall of Fame level. Five points to take the lead and wash out everybody else. Which player has the most assists in a single game? With thirty, oh, um, Scott Skiles. Oh, quick answer! <laughs> quick answer. That's just just flawless, Scott right Scott, there. Man. Four for four, eleven points for the lead. Seth Curry, S. Dot Curry. The game. He knows know the, the game. game. I've been locked on NBA TV, uh, all the reruns, <laughs> throwback games. I know what I'm doing. Man. He knows what he's doing. I, I I I was trying to find the hardest question at the end. You just knocked. You just yeah, whatever. All right, bet. You got two screens. You got Twitch over here. You got NBA TV over here. Unbelievable. All right. Yes, sir. Well done. I'll be I'll be circling back. Uh, I think the winner has to. Uh, oh, you already did. I think the winner has to shave all their face off and all their hair and everything. Oh, man. Off. We're going we back a little bit. Right when you just signed yourself up. <laughs> all love love you bro take care of the fam down there keep working out Holly. yes sir all right all right all right seth curry came through we got we got two more two more contestants i need patty mills patty mills are you in here if you in here right now I need you to send me a little comment so I can put you in the live feed. Also, Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole, if you are in here, I need you to send me a little comment on the stream so I can uh, I can log you in. Seth Curry, Scott Skiles, 
There's there's Patty right there. Scott Scott, I thought that would trip him up a little bit. Could have gone like a Steve Nash answer. Who else? John Stockton, CP. Patty Mills in the building. What's up, my brother? What is happening? How you doing, bro? I see that beard starting to fill hey. in finally. <laughs> I'm trying. You don't want to see what's underneath the hood right here. But, yeah, the beard is coming in real nice. I see everyone to, uh, been wearing hats. It's, yeah, I, I gave away a little bit of the line right here. But, you know, it is what it is, man. We're going to get through it all together. <laughs> what's going on, man? How you doing? How you doing? How's the uh, – how you been feeling the time? Yeah, man, I'm um, trying to get into a routine of some sorts, um, wake up in the morning, have a shower just like I normally would to start the day, and uh, we kind of just been staying at home. We uh, kind of do laps around the house, uh, play with the dog a lot. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting time. <laughs> Absolutely. You got to, like, figure out a way to, to keep the uh, – uh, we're all, like, schedule-oriented anyway based on you know, yeah. our normal day-to-day -day with basketball and knowing how to – figure out the full day so you got to really start from scratch the shower is an overrated part or underrated part i should say of the daily routine oh that's the pup right there respect that's the pup. what's the dog's name got... his name's harvey harvey respect harvey in there harvey i think he wants to be a part of the trivia contest too he wants to see if he can give you some help on some of these questions if you <laughs> you down to be on the on the game show let's do it bro all right we're doing it big. We got four questions, four different levels. Seth Curry is in the lead right now. He went four for four. Everybody else went three for four. So uh, you're right there. You're right there. First question. Sure. Pretty easy one. Uh, <laughs> the last time we saw each other in college, what college did I attend? Uh, Davidson, bro. I think that was your uh, last college game too. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It was my last college game, thanks to you and your St. Mary Gales, man. <laughs> hey, I still I, I live like maybe thirty minutes away from the school, so every time I pass that exit, I would just shake my head because good memories. You, you definitely end up, you definitely ended my college career, man. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Thanks, thanks so much for sending me home, sending me to the oh, league quickly. Memories, <laughs> memories. <laughs> All right, that's correct. All right, second question. Uh, this is a pretty easy true false question. In the 1970s, no NBA team won back-to-back -back championships. Is that true or false? In the which century? In the 1970s. Oh, 1970s. No team won a back-to-back. -back. Is that false. true or false? False, false. False, that is actually true. We had a unique winners every single year during the 1970s. But... You're still not out of it. Well, I guess you're out of it. You're, not, you're, you're fighting for second right now. That's okay, though. That's okay. It's okay. You're going to stay you with know, it. I'm from another country. You got to take I know. it easy on them. I tried. Ones. I tried. The other question was, what was my favorite pregame meal? And you don't want to answer that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Third question. Uh, which player was the youngest to win the NBA MVP? Which player was the was the youngest to win yeah, the youngest. MVP? Yes, we were in the league at the time. I'm gonna give you a hint. That, you're gonna give me a hint, or that was the hint? No, that that was the hint. We were we were we were playing in the league when this individual won MVP and became the youngest to win the MVP. Uh, and he plays our position. What, posi what position do you play? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a stretch guard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. youngest player. Sorry, people trying to. And I love the fact that you're not looking at. Call me. Oh, I love the fact you're not looking at the uh, the comments. Um, I'm going to say <laughs> Joe Ingles keeps trying to call me and mess the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, you're good. Uh, what's the answer? Uh, the answer I'm going to give is uh, James Harden. No. That is incorrect. Uh, actually, he does play our position. He was in the league, so my hints definitely threw you all the way off. Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose, of course. My dread gang brother. <laughs> There it is. He was 22 years old, seven months when he won the MVP. 
back in what was that, twenty twelve? Twenty third yeah. Twenty twelve. Oh, All right, here we go. Give me a point because you don't I'm, know the year. I'm stumping my I'm stumping my myself. And I didn't wait for the comments to validate if it was twenty twelve or not. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last question. Uh name the original city that the Lakers organization played with played for before moving to LA. Minneapolis. That is correct. That Boom. is correct. Solid, solid comeback. Solid comeback. You were just waiting for the hard, the hardest questions to uh, to oh, show bro. your your basketball acumen. Respect. I, uh, that is a solid seven hey, points. Yes, sir. Uh, absolutely. Um, little trivia. I uh, this season, I I don't know how long ago, about a month ago, I think I passed someone for all time threes for one team off the bench. Do you know who it is? Oh, Del Curry? Yeah, bro, your boss. Oh, wow. Yo, so my pops my pops in the record book has been taking some hits. You took that record for him from him. Lou Will took uh I think all time leading scorer off the bench from him. Hey, like he's he's it's taking right, hits left and right. Exactly, exactly. I don't know who's in third, so hopefully he can stay there for a little bit, but congrats that's big time. <laughs> that's big time. He would say the same thing. Hey, this is good stuff, man. Love what you're doing. Uh, stay safe. Hope the family's doing well, and uh, hope everyone else is doing well too. Absolutely, bro. Appreciate you doing it, and uh, take care. Take care of that dog too. Always, always. Oh, God. All right, bro. Yeah. Patty Mills, appreciate you, bro. All right, we got. I think we might have two more. Let me see if I can find. Javale McGee. Javale. Where's JaVale at? I'm going to try to loop him in. I think I saw you give him a comment or something. There he is. See if I can see if I can bring. See if I can find him. I don't know if that request went in. JaVale, hit me a comment right quick. See if I can get you in here. All right, yeah, I don't got no AirPods, man. I'm just, you know, dad life. Just chilling. Stay connected, you know what I'm saying? I don't hate, man. I can hear y'all. Y'all can hear me. That's all that matters. Uh, we're waiting on JaVale McGee. If anybody got any questions in the comments while I'm still on here. Uh, I'll see if I can answer him. <laughs> Everybody loving the beer game for the most part. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep it. I ain't just ain't gonna touch it. Oh uh, man, appreciate y'all tuning in to this the best game show of all time. Uh, Steve Harvey ain't got nothing on me. If Jordan Poole, my young fella Jordan Poole, if you were on here, just put a little comment in the bottom so I can uh, I can get you in too. But I need a. Uh, I know I'm looking for Clay Draymond. My guys, if we do this again, I'll bring them more. But uh, right now, <laughs> appreciate it, Brittany. You know, I'm, I'm trying to learn from the best. I follow all y'all guys and girls that, you know, putting together amazing content, bringing that energy. So, you know, it's like with Snoop's on his little game show too. Taking notes. I'm taking notes. Post career ain't coming for a while right now, but nah. Uh, I don't know if my two guys going to chime in right quick, but we're going to wait for them if anybody got any questions. I got about 10 more minutes before we get out of here. Let's see if I can get my guy Jordan on here right quick. Ooh, a closet tour. See, I got all the curries. I got some more curries. Got some forges. 
Got some more curries. Yeah, that's about it. I just gave you the I just gave you the uh, the closet tour right there. <laughs> um, I know. Hopefully, y'all have all been uh, checking in on like the, all the reruns and and stuff, keeping you know your fix for for the game, you know. Since we don't have any live action, it's actually been really dope going back and watching some of the old school, uh, you know, classic games, even like the the finals from you know the last decade or so. As a basketball fan, just being able to sit there and watch greatness and like relive all those moments, like it's a uh, like it's actually live. My wife caught me plenty of times sitting on there, like I don't know what the outcome is, but that's what basketball, so sports does to us. So it's pretty dope to. Kind of relive that. At least we get some positive out of this. There he is. What's good? Hey, we can keep continuing the trend of the full healthy beer beer game. I appreciate full you not healthy. letting us down right there. You cannot. <laughs> What's good, bro? What's cracking, man? How you been? Can't complain. Just trying to figure all this out, man, on a daily. As how's, we, your, as, how's, your as quarantine? how's your quarantine schedule going? Quarantine squ- uh, schedule is going great. I'm actually not the best at making the schedule, but when it comes to the day it looks something like this. You wake up, get a little workout in. Then my daughter's second grade class starts, and I'm like the substitute teacher for a little bit. FaceTime or in person? Uh, follow on the, on the Zoom conference. So they get on, nice. they talk mm-hmm. the whole class. Then I then after the class is over, I'm the one that's got to sit there and, and dish out the paper and all the, the materials so that she got to sit there and do it. So, oh, wow. so you're, so you're a teacher's assistant, basically. Is what I'm absolutely, saying. yeah. And she, basically, like a uh, star rating. She told my mom today, she said, I'm a three-star teacher. I said, dang, that's, that's cold. The disrespect. Right mm-hmm. That's so cold-blooded. I am investing into your future, young lady. And this is how you repay me? It's crazy. How you been, though? What else What else you been doing? Chilling, man. You know me, making music, yep. uh, playing Call of Duty, and uh, working out. Yeah, that's about it you can do. That's it, man. It's crazy. We all going to figure this out. I know there's going to be different waves, and uh, everybody wants to get back on the court, but it's kind of sure. a kind of a, a refreshing pause for, yeah. for us in a our, sense. Our lives, our lives are really fast. So <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of cool to just slow down and just do nothing. It's amazing. You like, think about how much time there actually is in a day when the ball isn't bouncing. It's like, oh, my gosh. Sure. But – Appreciate you coming on, spending a little bit of your valuable time on this here best game show of all time. Uh, Let's do it. We've had some, you know, pretty good competition. Uh, Seth Curry went four for four, so that is the bar that is set for you. I feel, I right feel here. like there's some insider trading going possibly, on. Possibly, right? possibly, <laughs> but I try to keep the questions random. <clears throat> um, but uh, all right, here we go. So we're gonna try to. Uh, all right, rookie rookie level question number one, really easy question. What number did Larry Bird wear for the Boston Celtics? Thirty three. Thirty three is absolutely correct. Easy entrance question. Moving on to round two. Round two. <laughs> what Hall of Famer center used to wave his index finger and say, "No, no, no." Timbo. I ain't even going to finish that question. I just wanted to get the accent out. I just wanted to get the, uh, <laughs> the imitation down. That is correct. No, no, no. <laughs> that is correct. You have three points moving on to the championship level three. Ooh. All right, here we go. <laughs> what is my real first name? War Dad. <laughs> <laughs> You saw, you saw how I had to say it? That's how I hear it. Uh, that's, the, that's what the voice of my said. That's my hand said. Wardell. Wardell. <laughs> Absolutely correct. I didn't want to have to ask that question, but I thought it would work. All right, last one. Ooh, all right. This is for the tie. And actually for uh, double, uh, double gold medals, because I think you might be the last contestant, to tie Seth Curry at the top of the podium. What was the first season that the 24-second shot clock violated – or, sorry, that the 24-second shot clock was introduced in the NBA? It's a multiple-choice question, though. Yes. yes. 
There it I is. I saw your I face. As soon as I said shot clock, he started looking up his mm. All right. So mm. <laughs> All right. What was the first season the 24 second shot clock was introduced in the NBA? You ready? Is it, it. A 1974-75 season? B 1954-55 season? Or C 1984 85 season. So basically, you're talking about was it the 50s, the 70s, or the 80s that the or shot the clock 80s. was introduced into the game of basketball? I'm going, I'm going 70s for sure because the 50s is black and white, I think. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not going with shot clocks in the black and white era. And then the 80s, they definitely had shot clocks. So I'm going to do 70s. Final answer? Yeah, finally. So I decided that as a host, she got to look off to the side and come back. Like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> we, we We're going to find out after this commercial break. We'll be right back. Uh, oh, that's me. Oh, no. I need a million dollars. You yeah. know what? I would have got this question wrong all day, every day as well. It was 1954, 55 season. 54? Yeah, I didn't even think they had that technology back in the day, like to put the. Did they have the three-point line? When did the three-point no, line come? No, no How you got shot like that no three-point line? The three-point line was in the late 70s, early 80s, or, or early 80s, I believe. Yeah, early 80s. So you tell me, so you tell me they were just dribbling the, the shot clock out inside the three? Like, just, all, let's and, get this last two points. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Ain't no pressure. <laughs> ain't no floor spacing, but y'all going to force us to have to shoot every possession. All right, bet. The, the the NBA Finals game was seventy to fifty two, <laughs> crazy blowout. <laughs> and pounding the crap out of that ball with that right hand. Um, nah, nineteen fifty four. I'm gonna have to go look up some some clips of that because. Uh, like, that, that like? Yeah, that one, that, but you know we learn something new every day. The progression of the game. Hey, what can you say? What can you say? Our mm -hmm. era, but like like everybody say, our era was way better. We can go back right Everybody now. Everybody says that. <laughs> you don't have a three-point line. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have a shot clock, this is crazy. Absolutely. Well, in the 1950s, the shot clock was invented. Well, appreciate you coming on, man. Appreciate you uh, you challenging S. Dot Curry. S. Dot Curry is the winner of this here trivia competition. But Insider information. Insider information. I told fair. him I think the winner should have to, like, literally shave off the, their entire face and head. So that's, I'm, that's I'm what he's going to lose. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's all it's all good. Blessings in the skies. I appreciate you, bro. Stay up. Enjoy sure. your time with the family. Y'all stay safe. Peace. You want to say anything else to the fans? Let them know. Uh, everybody. I appreciate everybody uh, for being fans of the NBA. Um, hopefully we're back soon. Um, just watch some highlights. You got YouTube. <laughs> you got NBA TV. <laughs> Enjoy it, guys. Absolutely. That's what we've been doing. We, we'd love to be out there playing for sure. Absolutely. Appreciate you, bro. Have a good one, bro. All right. Ah, oh, the game show is officially over. Seth Curry with the win. Is this like when D Wade gave Derrick Jones the dunk con? No, it ain't like that. Maybe it is. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. We will be back. I know the NBA is getting content coming left and right, trying to keep you guys entertained and, uh, you know, engage with the game as much as we can until we get back on the floor. I appreciate you so much. Keep your social distancing efforts and efforts going. Uh, let's flatten the curve, take advantage of our individual responsibility to handle this pandemic, um, and get up on your NBA trivia, you know? It's just what you got to do. So appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, Stephen Curry 30 on the other IG. Thank you, NBA, for letting me take over. The best dang game show you ever seen. I'm going to try to go find some real uh, headphones. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.